Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and guys, what do I have in front of us? Yeah, you guys remember a few months ago, back in the winter time, uh, right around the holidays, I picked up this 1967 Euro Beetle 1500 model right hand drive. And uh, when I did that video, man, did my email just blow up when I threw that video out there. And uh, just a bunch of people that wanted the car and uh, so sure enough I did sell it and uh, the client did want uh, some upgrades so we definitely tore out that interior if you don't remember the interior on this thing I'm gonna actually open up the passenger door here and the interior that was in the car was a white interior so white on white really no contrast he wanted to go back to more of an original look so here we got the correct 1967 uh, red door panels and red seats with the correct heat seam that stops here not the stitch on top so this is right guys and then uh, he also went with a brand new vinyl headliner yes it's a one-piece headliner and i installed this for him as well uh, it's not the multi-piece i usually would have had an another tuck around the back window but this is what he opted for and there's our back seat looks nice and we used the tmi high density foam padding so he did opt for um upgraded seat belts a three-point lap belt three-point shoulder and a lap belt so we put those in and the carpet kit is from sofine of course and she actually will make the right hand drive correct uh, carpet for uh, that other side over here <laughs> Because the, um, the cutouts by the pedals are actually different than when they would be, say, on the left-hand side. So if you're looking to get a 67 Euro, the sought-after model is the model like this, the 1500 model. They did offer uh, three versions of the 67 in different territories of the world, mostly in Europe. Um, but if you got the 1500 model, that was like the primo version. Uh, so you would have to pay a higher tax uh, to own this kind of a vehicle. So they had the 1300 model, which is pretty much like a glorified 66, really, just a few upgrades. You did have the one features of the 67, like the deck lid, door handles, uh, bumpers, things like that, um, seats. But, you know, the engine was still a 1300. Um, and it still kind of just looked like a 66 really. Um, chrome trim did get small as well in 67 like you see here. Uh, this client also opted for pop-out windows so we got those. And there was also a standard model which was offered uh, which would have had um, you know less chrome, less of a headliner, maybe just a top a square portion of the roof would have headliner. And which was really odd as I've seen standard 67 models with rag tops. So they would have a rag top sunroof for 67 standard models, which is odd to me. Um, but you could get a steel sunroof model if you went with the deluxe version. So, um, so in addition to the interior with this car, we also you know, did all new seals with new chrome. And we also dropped his engine and we did a, a mild detail on it. We painted up the tins, painted up the block, and uh, got everything looking nice for him. So, all well, pretty much 67 correct here. And yeah, uh, just a beauty, just a beauty. I love it, um, especially the fact that it's right-hand drive, a Euro model, and the 1500 Euro model also had uh, four lug rims. So basically from 68 onward in America, you know, that's when we started getting the four lug rim. And uh, so it has drum brakes in the back, but a 1500 model also has then uh, disc brakes in the front for the Euro model. And this is still six volt. So another, it's just, it's strange. You had some advantages to the Euro model and then some in the American market, they went a little bit further with uh, voltage, with 12 volt, and they changed the headlight to the straight headlight. Remember, this, they still keep the early headlights in these years uh, for the Euro 67. So uh, it's like back and forth, you know? So 
I'm amazed, you know, it would have been nice to get disc brakes on the American model too. Uh, that would have been really cool, but uh, very, very cool. Awesome little buggy. I'm so, you know, proud to see how clean it looks right now. When I first got it, it was kind of dirty and dusty. Now we found this car in an airplane hangar in Missouri. How cool is that? Um, so let's see the real highlight of this car, huh? In the United States, this is so cool to have this. Man, it could be a mailman now. <laughs> uh, very, very cool. It just, I'm still getting used to shifting and driving on this side. I mean, every once in a while, I still look to my right to shift. Uh, but I got to remember on my left is the shifter. So, but uh, same shift pattern, same age pattern, and uh, everything is the same. Nothing is backwards, really. So, um, but just, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, yeah, I, I love it, you know. Door panels look good. White and red is a great contrast and uh, definitely a good, good look for this car. So, um, yeah, guys, this is, it was a pleasure working on this. Uh, we did some mechanical upgrades as well. It needed wheel cylinders, needed some brake work, shocks, things like that. So, um, this is a prime example of something that, could be found in my find a bug program if you guys don't know what my find a bug program is that is a program where i literally you know can search the country for you to find a bug so this fits a platform where you don't want to wait the two-year wait list that we have to have a bug restored for you um, and you're kind of in the budget a lower budget than having a bug restored you know budget for uh, having a beetle restored has been climbing and for many people it's out of reach so my program really falls, you know, in the say 10 to 15 to $25,000 mark. You know, like if you guys are in that kind of a budget and you're looking for a bug just to get into and have fun, it doesn't have to necessarily be a show car, uh, I can find it for you. And uh, so go to my website, classicvwbugs.com, and there's a find a bug section there. I got an old video posted about that program and uh, you can watch that. I have a contract there. There is a, a, d a deposit that is due to get me searching. I do have a list of people on my find a bug list. So um, depending on what your criteria is will also depend on how fast I can find you a car. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have a network across this country of people that I talk to in the VW community and it's peace of mind, so to speak. You know, I know what questions to ask. I know how to vet the seller and uh, I know where to look out for, you know, what to look out for before buying a bug. And, you know, you tell me what your budget is and then I can kind of steer you in the right direction to tell you if you're getting the right purchase or not. And um, it all kind of works out. And uh, then within uh, my commission, uh, we take the car in, we give it a nice once over, check all the brakes, check all the lines, check all the safety features on the vehicle and make sure she runs and drives okay. And uh, if there are any repairs, we can do that. If there are any upgrades, like you saw in this car with a new interior, we can do that. Uh, so check out the Find a Bug program, and this is a perfect example of what that uh, could fall into. So, uh, but yeah, guys, 1967 Euro Beetle, just so cool. Rare in the United States. Very cool to have something like this here in the States, because uh, 67 is a very sought after year. And it's just one of those cars where it's the last year of the older look with the older bumpers, uh, the low back seats, the hard dashboard. Uh, but to get a Euro model, which is slightly different from the American model, uh, is pretty damn cool. And it's, it's, it's so funny seeing the faces of people on the highway when I'm driving on the other side of the, of the car. You know, uh, it's just, it's really, really funny. Uh, but uh, so yeah guys if you have any questions uh, just uh, pop me uh, a question in the comment section below this video uh, please be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell and I'll be bringing you VW content like this each and every week and uh, yeah guys been doing it for almost 15 years on YouTube it's insane <laughs> just so cool but I love it I wouldn't want it any other way and um, yeah just a beauty 1967 Euro Beetle right hand drive oh I love it Congratulations to the new owner. It's uh, on its way to Pittsburgh. All right, take care guys. All right, grab that. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Come from this side. So cool. Right here. And just pop it in here, just the side popper. 
Good bacon. 